Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to study best effort broadcast. So first, we need to define what best effort broadcast is. So let us first give the intuition about what a broadcasting algorithm is. So let's consider a distributed system that uh, comprises, for instance, five nodes, A, B, C, D, and E. There are two ways to communicate in a distributed system. The first one is using point-to-point -point messages. So in that case, for instance, uh, node A can send messages to node B uh, and node E, then node C can send messages to node A and node D. One other way, which is widely used in distributed system, is to rely on broadcasting algorithm. In a broadcasting algorithm, one node sends messages to all other nodes in the system. So that could also mean, for instance, that C send messages to all other nodes in the system, so D, E, A, and B. So these algorithms that allow a given node to send messages to all other nodes in the system are called broadcasting algorithms. So in this course, we will study the most basic such algorithm, which is called best effort broadcast algorithms. So now that we gave the intuition about these abstractions, let's give the formal definition of best effort broadcasting algorithms. So every node in the system can use the following programming abstractions. Either it can send messages using the broadcast call. So this method will take as a parameter a message M to be broadcast. Or nodes in the system can deliver messages they have received from other nodes. So in which case, we say that they will invoke an up call, which is called deliver, together with M, which is the message to be delivered, and P, which is the process that sent this message. So by the way, notice that in this course, I can use uh, many terms that have the same meaning, which are processes, nodes, and machines. So I can use any of these words to mean the same thing. So now that we've seen that a node can either broadcast messages or can deliver messages broadcast by other nodes, let's see what are the properties that are guaranteed by a best effort broadcasting algorithm. So there are actually three properties. The first property is called validity and states that if a correct process broadcasts message M, then every correct process eventually delivers M. So here, notice that I use the term correct, so meaning that in our system, we consider that processes can either be correct, meaning that they won't crash, or that they can be faulty, and meaning that they will crash and stop functioning. So the second property, called node application, states that no message is delivered more than once. The third property, called no creation, states that if a process delivers a message M with standard S, then M was previously broadcast by process S. Now that we've seen these properties, let's discuss the assumptions we are going to make to design our algorithms. So the first assumption is that we only consider crash failures. In the crash failure model, processes can either be correct, meaning they won't crash during the execution of the system, or they can be faulty, meaning that they can crash and never recover. The second assumption is about communication channels. We consider that we have perfect communication channels. Here the intuition is that messages sent by correct processes will be delivered by other correct processes. And so finally, we are using an asynchronous system, so meaning we don't have bounds on the time required to deliver messages, we don't have bounds on clock drifts, and so on. So now that we've studied these assumptions, let's design the algorithm. So let's explain what's happening. So we have four processes, P1, P2, P3, and P4. So assume that P1 wants to broadcast messages. So this means that the application that is executing on node P1 requested this broadcast. So what P1 will do is using the perfect communication links it has to all other processes, it will send a message to all these processes, including itself. Then the algorithm is very simple. As soon as a process receives a message, it delivers it to the application. So I represent the delivery here with an up arrow. This is the entire Best Effort Broadcast algorithm. So notice that this protocol doesn't guarantee anything when the broadcaster is faulty. Let's take an example. Let's consider that P1, again, has a message to broadcast that has been sent by the application running on this node. So when P1 is asked to broadcast the message, again, what it will do is send a message to all other processes in the system. But now P1 is faulty, and we will assume that this message is not received by nodes. There can be many reasons for such a behavior. 
behavior. The message can be dropped by P1 itself. It can be dropped by the switch connecting a P1 to other nodes. So anyway, this message won't be received. As P1 is not correct, meaning it will crash after having sent the message, this message won't be received by any other process. Indeed, remember that the assumption we are making about perfect communication channels only ensures that messages sent by correct processes will be delivered by correct processes. P1 in this case is not correct, so its messages won't be delivered by other processes. Note also that it is possible that the message sent by P1 be delivered only by a subset of processes. So assume that P1 is asked to broadcast a message. When it is asked to do so, it will send a message to all processes. So that message, for instance, could be received by P2, but could be dropped and not received by P3 and P4. In that case, P2 will deliver the message, P1 will maybe deliver the message too, P3 and P4 won't deliver the message, and P1 is faulty, that message will never be delivered by T3 and P4. This is actually a case that can happen. Indeed, the specification uh, states that only messages broadcast by correct processes will eventually be delivered by other correct processes.